Police in the Czech Republic say a gunman has killed at least 14 people at a university in central Prague. Dozens more have been injured. The gunman also shot dead his father before the rampage. Authorities say there is no link to terrorism. A frantic run for cover as a shooter opens fire in the heart of Prague's historic center. As police hunt the gunman, staff and students at the university are warned to barricade themselves inside. Others hide on a building ledge out of desperation. Panicked families try to contact their loved ones when news of the shooting spreads. We found out it was happening in the philosophy department. So I tried to reach my daughter, but she didn't answer the call. So we communicated by text message. And I asked her to stay on the floor, not to go near the windows and wait for the police. Authorities say they received information about a man from a nearby village heading for Prague to commit suicide. Police then discovered a body of another man in the village, the suspect's father. With the nation in shock, the Prime Minister addresses the Czech people. First of all, let me express my deepest condolences to the relatives and friends of all the victims. None of us can fully imagine the depth of grief and pain they are now experiencing. Many lives, mostly young people, have been needlessly lost. Many of them are injured, some unfortunately very seriously. There is no justification for this horrendous act. And like many of you, I feel deep sadness and disgust in the face of this senseless and brutal violence. Police believe the shooter, who was a student at the university, acted alone. They say there is no link to international terrorism or extremist groups. Let's get more on the story with journalist Ian Willoughby. He joins us now from Prague. Welcome to DW, Ian. Attacks like this one are rare in the country, aren't they? Well, they're extremely rare. In fact, this has been described as the worst ever shooting incident of its kind in the Czech Republic. There have been some multiple shootings in the past, but nothing on this scale. Also, it's unprecedented in terms of such an attack taking place at an institution of education. We haven't seen the kind of mass school shootings here that the US is relatively well known for. And that's another reason why this event today, this terrible shooting has been so traumatic for the Czech nation and is people are still in very deep shock over what has occurred here. And uh, just now, the Czech government said that Saturday will be a day of national mourning for the victims of today's uh, violent incident. Right, those are some frightening images we saw coming out uh, from Prague through the day. But what more do we know about the shooter? Well, the shooter was a 24-year-old student at the Faculty of Arts where he carried out this terrible attack. Earlier in the day, he killed his own father. He was from a small town outside Prague. He killed his father at their town, then came into Prague to carry out this uh, killing spree. Before he came to Prague, he made a social media post on the network Telegram saying that he hated the world and that he was out to cause maximum damage possible. Also, it's interesting, this evening, the Czech police have said he may be linked to a strange killing last weekend in which a young man and his infant child were killed evidently without reason. So the police now are acting on the assumption that this killer may have also committed this uh, bizarre and evidently a motiveless crime last weekend. Okay, so clearly a developing story, but let's zoom out a bit. Walk us through the gun laws in the Czech Republic. Is it easy to own a firearm there? Well, it's certainly easier than it is, for example, in the UK or Ireland. It is, anybody can get a gun license if they go through certain uh, procedures. The police chief said this evening here in Prague that they found an arsenal of weapons 
at the scene of today's shooting incident, weapons and ammunition. And it's not entirely clear if the shooter had, he had, apparently he had gun licenses, but we don't know if they were for the ones that he used today. But it's also been reported that he stole, uh, stole the guns that were used. Another issue that has been raised is security at uh, universities, especially at this university, the, uh, the Faculty of Arts at Charles University. I have been there several times, and you walk in, it's right in Central Park. You can walk in and nobody stops you. There are no security barriers, nothing like that. And in fact, my wife, who is uh, a student at the faculty, she alerted me to this security uh, shortcoming some time ago. And I think questions will definitely be asked about what's the level of security at uh, institutions like this in the Czech Republic. Thank you so much for following that story for us, journalist Ian Willoughby in Prague.